My name is John Peen and I'm with Cellar Ridge Construction and we're here today to talk about the Passive House project that we have going for the Pitney residents in McMinnville, Oregon. We're very excited about this project. There are a thousand things that we do different to make a house meet the Passive House standards and so we're here to talk about a few of those things. So let's start with the envelope. The envelope of the house is the insulated area that surrounds the living space. And so for this project, our envelope is our, our walls coming down to the slab where we have 12 inches of rigid foam insulation underneath the slab coming up into these 10 inch deep walls that are thermally broken by framing two walls, a two by four wall on the exterior of the house and a two by four wall on the interior of the house. And by separating this framing, we eliminate the thermal bridging that would take place in standard construction. Outside of this 10 inch cavity that will be filled with dense pack fiberglass insulation is a three inch layer of rock sole mineral wool insulation for a total of 13 inch depth of insulated wall cavity. Moving up the envelope at the top in our attic, our attic insulation is R70, two feet of fiberglass blown in insulation. At the Pitney Passive House project, we've installed a utility chase at the ceiling of the project. So rather than having just trusses uh, and the ceiling be open to the trusses above, we've actually installed two by sixes with OSB sheeting on top of it. On top of the OSB sheeting, we have more blue skin. So that's the top uh, air barrier for the project. Uh, inside of the two by sixes, our utility chase allows us to run our wiring, our plumbing, our ducting for the heat recovery ventilator, all within that space so that we can minimize the number of penetrations that go through the ceiling and into the attic. Okay, welcome to the attic of the Pitney Project. You'll notice some distinctive things about this attic. First is the floor of the attic is the blue skin. We talked about that earlier. This is the air barrier for the house. And we have to be very defensive in building a passive house of the air barrier. And so every time there's a wire penetration that went through our air barrier, we asked our electricians to hang a red flag so that we would know to come find that wire and air seal it. And so they ran their wire and rather than going a straight line, hard angle to the hole that that wire goes through, they actually left us a little bit of a loop that allows our wire to go directly through the sheathing and the blue skin at a 90 degree angle. And around this wire, we've applied the butyl tape to air seal this wiring penetration. And again, on the other side, we've filled the hole around the wire with silicone caulking. 